so uh so let's get started okay with our new topic that is a snowflake architecture so before we get started uh so if you could see right so this is like a uh, snowflake uh, introductory certification that is called as snow snow pro core certification right okay so if you go through the uh, these uh, uh, syllabus okay so okay. you will see mostly these uh, these are the main topics okay and estimated percentage where from where you will get the questions okay, okay. So, so if you talk see so we are going to start with the architecture part okay and it is approximately 20 to 25% okay so you will see at least uh, 15 to 20 questions in this topic from the snowflake data platform features and architecture okay okay so it also has some other uh, topics okay like like i mentioned the user interface and snow sites etc right so these topics we are going to see it but uh, so this is where you can go and just check this snowflake certification uh, uh, what i mean to say okay so this is the uh, uh, certification exam uh certification exam uh syllabus okay okay thank you okay and so uh one thing i would like to emphasize okay mostly on your certification exam okay you need to have like a uh what i mean to say most of the questions you need to be you will get from this uh their uh documentation only okay all right okay so you you have to like uh, go through each and every word from here uh means uh in order to like uh, uh before go going for a exam you need to go through all of this so for example this is the architecture right so you will go through this you will all this and uh, for example the other topics as well so likewise most of the questions you will get from their documentation itself okay okay so let me provide the link to this documentation as well okay so this is like a what i meant to say uh if you go through this uh documentation right uh yeah. you will be like 70 percent ready for the exam means okay all right and i don't think you need to do anything different other than uh, this okay all right yeah okay so this i just wanted to quickly uh, uh uh share with you this info okay so today we are going to start with like a, our snowflake architecture right uh, uh just let me start so uh we are, this is like as i mentioned this is one of the important topics so mostly this will be a theoretical like uh, there will be no hands-on uh as such on this snowflake architecture okay first we, we are going to see what is like a uh, uh we are going to see a traditional data warehouse architecture so you might have uh, like a worked or seen like the traditional data warehouse architecture right where we used to have this shared is right so where our storage was shared by multiple applications or um, multiple people were accessing the same storage so that is called as a shared disk ar architecture right so where multiple yeah. machines or the resources like whatever it may be were accessing the same storage right and yeah. in this case it was like a single point of failure when when your storage fails like everything will be uh, everything will have the issues so that was like a single point of failure uh, there in this case you uh, you had like a, a horizontal scaling is possible right where you could add like a more number of nodes right means more right. number of uh, machines you can add to that uh, so that is called as a horizontal horizontal scaling okay and uh, and it was like a administrative co cost was also uh, higher in this uh, uh 
what I want to say in this kind of architecture. Okay. So this is our shared uh, disk architecture uh, that you already be aware of. Okay. Uh, okay. Next one was shared nothing architecture, right? So when you have this uh, uh, big data processing uh, uh, technologies, right? Uh, like Hadoop or so they had this distributed cluster where each node in in that cluster was processing its own data right so likewise each node in that cluster has uh, was having its own data also in this case it was a single point of failure as well like uh, whenever the master node goes down it was a single point of failure and it it you have to initially purchase or uh, that capacity where you you would not be able to scale beyond one point right and it was quite expensive and uh, whenever the workload increases it becomes uh, what i meant to say, uh, it becomes uh, slow so that is called as a shared nothing architecture so that was a deep second architecture and now we are going to uh, see snowflake's unique architecture okay so when we talk about snowflake uh, architecture it's like a hybrid of traditional shared disk and shared nothing architecture okay and so shared disk means it is using like a central uh, depository to store your data okay and uh, uh, and shared uh, nothing architecture means uh, it has like a massively parallel processing like compute clusters clusters means it's a group of servers right so when uh, uh, when we discuss about these uh, big data or hadoop or that kind of stuff so it has the clusters cluster of servers to process those data okay so this is like a hybrid one uh, where uh, snowflake makes use of shared uh share uh shared disk as well as the uh shared nothing architecture okay and you can independently scale your uh compute uh and storage okay so there is no relationship between like your uh compute that is the processing and the storage so this makes like a snowflake a unique uh, uh cloud data platform where it makes use of the this uh, hybrid uh, architecture okay okay now quick question when you talk about share nothing what what, what, is, what does that mean uh shared nothing means uh suppose you might have seen this hadoop uh, uh uh processing right where you have this your master node and you have the slave nodes right so each yeah. slave, each uh, each uh, sub node or the slave node was will be processing its own data, right? So when you submit okay. a query or task, that gets divided into the n number of uh, uh, n number of uh, no n number of nodes will process this data, right? Individually. Okay. So that is called as a shared nothing. Uh, so here, if you see these virtual warehouses, right? Yeah. So each virtual warehouse will process its own data. It is independent of the another virtual warehouse. So this virtual warehouse is nothing but a cluster. Okay. Okay. Share nothing. Okay. Got it. Yes. And this database storage is like a shared uh, disk where you will have like a central data repository of data. And this is getting accessed by all of these virtual uh, virtual warehouses or these okay. processing clusters. Okay. Okay, so the database uh, storage tools share the query processing are uh, independent and they do not share anything. Yeah. Okay. And you can okay. scale it. Okay. So you can scale uh, these two independently. So you can increase the storage without affecting any, any of these query processing. You can increase the size of this cluster without affecting any, uh, uh, without causing any issues to the storage. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So these are like um, Docker containers. Uh, the query processing um, virtual boxes are like Docker containers, which isolate things from each other, basically. Uh, yeah, not sure on this containers part, but these okay. are like a 
servers only you can consider this as a cluster of uh, virtual machines or servers okay okay that makes sense. yeah so if you uh, when we talk about the snowflake architecture right so there are three layers okay one is the database storage that we talked about mostly it is used for the data storage part second one is query processing okay so it makes uh, it is used for execution of your queries and uh, so these are like a virtual warehouse is nothing but this is a cluster of uh, servers or cluster of compute uh, compute machines which are used to execute your queries and third layer is called as a cloud service layer which is responsible for user authentication and access control and so this is called as a brain of your snowflake uh, uh, this layer is called as a brain of your snowflake so this layer is mostly responsible for uh, uh, hand tying all all of these components of the snowflake together uh, you can see this is as a central layer right central uh, component which manages everything okay okay so these are the three unique layers uh, of the uh, snowflake okay so mostly uh, uh okay then so we are going to see uh, some details about each of these layers okay so whenever uh, so in snowflake data is stored into the database and then in the tables okay database and we have a table and each data is stored as a compressed columnar format okay that means everything is stored stored in a compressed and columnar format and all the data is encrypted by default okay using this aes 256 uh, encryption algorithm okay and uh, so everything so for example you might have seen with the traditional databases right so you do your partitioning of the tables for improving the performance right yes but uh, here everything is managed by snowflake itself from the file size like uh, to the structure the compression and uh, uh, partitioning okay everything is by default handled by snowflake okay. okay and whatever the data that is stored uh, miss you uh, stored in the databases you won't be able to access it directly you are only able to query it okay so uh this is how like your database storage works this layer it means a storage so in an in an all everything is taken care of by snowflake like file size and uh, how to organize the data into the tables means internal uh internal details of the storage is managed by the snowflake okay okay you are just going to use the data by querying sql querying okay 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 now uh, if you see snowflake allows you to create a multiple and independent clusters for query processing and they are called as a virtual warehouses that we saw right so you can create yeah. your compute clusters okay they all access the same data source without any contention that means you have a single storage but multiple virtual warehouses can access it with access it without causing any contentions okay all right you can scale up or down your virtual warehouses that is the clusters okay this is our query processing and this layer is called as a cloud service layer okay so if you see so cloud service layer is like a fully managed by snowflake and it's a collection of services that coordinates the activities across the snowflake that i mentioned uh, where it's like a central component of your uh, snowflake cloud service okay and if you see uh, so this layer okay it stores the metadata information okay for these kind of like services means for example data sharing so we are going to see this in detail in our upcoming sessions so all these features right 
they make make use of the metadata information and that is stored into this cloud services layer okay so this what is this zero copy clone time travel data sharing all these uh, unique features of snowflake uh, makes use of this metadata information that is stored into the cloud services layer okay so uh, uh, those of any questions on this like a uh, uh, snowflake architecture part uh, uh no so far i'm gathering that the cloud service layer is handled by snowflake yeah okay 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 so that was like a snowflake um, architecture and like uh, so so you can go through that documentation I, I mentioned, right? So to go through each and everything there. Uh, yeah. So you will be able to uh, see the info there, okay? Okay. So that was a brief introduction to Snowflake architecture, okay? Now, what we are going to see, we are going to see these warehouses in detail, okay? What are these warehouses, right? So, uh, okay so uh, we mentioned uh, we seen this our query processing layer right so where we talked about these uh, compute uh, resources or the compute uh, machines right yeah. so virtual warehouse okay it's called as a virtual warehouse or you call it as a warehouse right so it's a cluster of computer resources so compute resources means uh, like your CPU memory or any storage, temporary storage, right? And it is required to perform following uh, operations in a Snowflake station, okay? So whenever you connect to uh, your Snowflake, right? Uh, like if I, I created this new worksheet, so I establish a connection with the Snowflake, okay? Or if you use your JDBC drivers or any other drivers, right? Or any uh, third-party tools to connect to the C, uh, Snowflake, you uh, you will establish a session to session to a Snowflake. Okay, and uh, if I have to if I have to do uh, any kind of like a uh, processing. Sorry. Like if I have to run this query, right? So, so I need these uh, uh, compute resources, okay? So to run this query, right? I need to have some some compute uh, or resource behind the scenes. So that is given by this virtual warehouse. Yes. Okay, let it let it be. Okay. Okay. So, so whenever you are running any select statements or you are performing any DML operations like delete, insert, updates, or whenever you are loading the data using the copy into command or unloading the data. Okay, using the copy into command. Okay, so in all these cases, you need a virtual warehouse okay to uh, to execute those commands okay 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 now these virtual warehouses uh, comes in a like a different sizes okay so whenever you uh, okay whenever you run the command and you make use of these uh, virtual warehouse right these virtual warehouse, they will consume a credit. Credit is nothing but you, you will be a build, right? You will be built for your uh, uh, uses of these virtual uh, warehouses. So how much resources you use, right? 
okay yeah how much resources you use so here uh, the billing is done in in terms of the credit okay so that is called as a credit here in uh, the snowflake okay so let me show okay <laughs> So virtual warehouses comes in a sizes. Okay. So if you see, uh, the size specifies the amount of compute resources available per cluster. Okay. So all these size sizes comes in a t-shirt sizes. If you see, so you have this X small, yeah. X small, then small, medium, large, X large, two X large, three X large, four X large. Okay. And you will see here how much credit is consumed per hour, right? So this X small uh, will consume one credit per hour. So if you run a X small, uh, if you run a warehouse of X small size for one hour continuously, you will be charged one credit. Okay. And this one credit will correspond to, correspond to I guess two dollar or three dollar. Okay. So okay. that we will see. That we will see, okay, how much one credit is so like. Uh, so it depends on different regions and uh, all the stuff, okay. So if you see, so this as you increase your warehouse size, right? So number of credits increased will be increased. So each increase in your warehouse sizes will double your credit, okay. Okay. For example, yeah, X small is taking your one credit small two and four eight sixteen like that it is getting increased okay so here they have given the credits per second okay so per second it will be uh, creating what i'm uh, per second it will be uh, consuming this amount of credit okay yeah so and the size is directly proportional to um the credits uh, and the storage capacity yes yes and if you see uh so whenever you see this x small size right uh so this is like a, your cluster right so your cluster will have one server okay okay so when you come to small your cluster will have two servers so amount of credits that is given also so these will number of servers will be there in your cluster okay so if you create a warehouse of size large right so your cluster will have eight servers in it or okay. eight machines virtual machines or uh, the eight servers in your cluster okay and when you create a warehouse from a web ui right okay so let me go th there to this uh, warehouse suppose i create a new uh, warehouse right by default it will take x large as a size okay so default size will be x large it will take but you can change it but it will take by default x large as a, a size okay okay and when you create using your uh, 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 command okay so it will take x small okay so this can be asked in your snow pro exam so when you create a warehouse using like a, so if you see i created this test warehouse right so it's my size is x small yeah okay so this is what they have mentioned here uh default size for warehouse created using creative warehouse x small default for warehouses created in web interface okay and so if you see this 5x large and 6x large so these are currently preview features mm -hmm. okay yeah and if you're going to provision them it will take some time to create these warehouses okay of these sizes okay. so i hope no. i hope you are uh, mm -hmm. clear with these warehouse sizes and credits yeah now um during uh, projects, are we going to be asked to provision the warehouse, virtual warehouses ourselves, or this is also 
something you select and is available on Snowflake? No, no. Uh, so you, you are going to create or the admin from your team or your project who is the Snowflake admin. He will provision okay. the warehouse. Okay. Okay. So you can Actually. see if you if you create a warehouse, you can increase or decrease its size as and when required, right? So if I create a yeah. small warehouse, a small size warehouse. I'm going to run some uh, large data load. So I will increase the size to large, right? Oh, okay. And after, that makes after sense. The, yeah, after the query is completed, I will again roll it back to the X small. Okay. Okay. So this is warehouse sizes. Okay. Now, how Snowflake warehouse charges? Okay. So Snowflake uh, charges uh, per second billing. Okay, for your warehouses. Okay, so whenever you start your warehouse, right? First sixty seconds, it will charge. Okay. Uh, uh, depending on the size, it will first sixty second. It will charge the same amount. Okay. Means minimum okay. amount. Whenever you start your warehouse, it will charge you with a minimum minimum for 60 seconds okay uh -huh. okay and after that it will charge uh, per second means so suppose you started your warehouse and you used it for like a 63 second okay yeah so it will charge for 63 seconds okay oh okay okay you started your warehouse and you stopped it after 50 seconds, but it will charge you for a 60 seconds. So whenever you start the warehouse, minimum it will charge you for 60 seconds. Yeah. Was, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So now, quick question. You said if you start zero to 60, so if you hit 30 seconds, they will still charge you 60 seconds. Yes, 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 yes oh wow okay so whenever you start your warehouse uh it is going to charge you for 60 seconds and okay. after that it will be a per second basis okay okay another okay got it yeah so here if you see for x small for it's charging you this per one minute uh 0 0.17 so depending on the sizes it's calculated and 0 to 60 it will be charged for one hour, it will charge you one credit. For uh -huh. X large, 16 credits, right? And 5X large, 256 credits, okay? Yep, okay. Okay. So this we saw, right, a single cluster, uh, whatever we saw, right, that was a uh, like a single cluster warehouse, right? Uh, where you have like a, your uh, one only one cluster, okay? Yeah. So, Snowflake provides you with the multi cluster warehouses as well. Okay. Okay. So, where you have multiple clusters and each will have the same size. Okay. So, uh, as we've seen, right? So, by default, uh, okay, multi cluster warehouse, what it does, you can uh, scale your compute resources, right? So whenever your users are increased, right, or your query simultaneous queries are running, okay. So you need like a, a lot of compute resources. So at that time, uh, you can make use of a multi-cluster warehouses, okay. So whenever the queries are submitted to the warehouse, okay. So it will start executing all the queries simultaneously, okay. All right. So, okay. So let me show you. So initially, uh, by default, you will have a single cluster, right? So, Uh, 
okay so this is your one uh, one cluster right by default this is a one cluster we'll have for okay. depending on the size it will have the servers right so i am using a small warehouse it will have two uh, two servers in it and when you talk about like a, a multi cluster right uh, so you will have another cluster so this will be another cluster right this will have another two servers so these are multi clusters so i am having two clusters okay two clusters of x small sizes so uh, uh you understood right joseph uh, what is a multi cluster warehouse two clusters of like similar sizes uh yeah small sizes yes so this is my cluster one right uh so by default it is a, a single cluster so small means it will have two servers in it right and when i create one more uh cluster so this is called as a multi cluster right this is my cluster yeah. one this is my cluster two i can have one other cluster as well right right uh, so this is called as a multi cluster okay so what happens in multi cluster uh so what happens in multi cluster okay uh it can automatically scale up okay uh uh during like if the workload increases it can automatically start the another cluster okay so to uh to means whenever the query load increases it can start the automatically another cluster okay so that that is the use of multi cluster warehouse okay so the maximum number of clusters uh you can have is up to 10 okay And the maximum is ten. Of, yeah, maximum you can create a ten multi clusters warehouse in a snowflake. And minimum number of clusters you can have less than okay, the maximum. Mm -hmm. Less than or equal to means you can have ten and ten. Okay. Ten or below. Yeah, you can have one minimum of clusters, or you can have ten, right? Less than yes, or sir. equal to ten. Yeah. so multi cluster warehouse okay you can specify the size you can resize the warehouse at any time at any time okay you can auto suspend or you can auto resume okay this multi cluster warehouse yeah so we are going to see all these options okay uh, uh, practically when we create a warehouse okay so there there are two modes in multi cluster that is called as a maximized and second one is the auto auto scale okay so let me uh, show it practically okay so when you create a warehouse okay uh so i can give one name right demo so you are able to see it here right uh, uh joseph we have this minimum clusters and maximum clusters right yeah so you can create up to maximum of 10 clusters maximum and minimum of 1 or 10 okay right now when you specify the same number right for minimum and maximum right for example i create uh, two clusters so when you specify these uh, maximum and minimum same values right so that yeah. is called as a max maximized mode uh, in a warehouse okay so that is called as a maximized mode so what happens when you when the uh, cluster starts right so both both the two uh, both the clusters will start so when you start uh, in this case right when you uh, when you create this warehouse right and when the warehouse starts right it will start both the clusters okay. it will start your both both the clusters right simultaneously it will start both both the both the clusters so that is called as a maximize mode and when you 
provide a different uh, different values right okay so my minimum cluster is one and maximum cluster is two right when you have different values for this minimum and maximum cluster it is called as a auto scale mode okay this is called as a auto scale mode and in this mode what happens whenever your uh, cluster starts right this warehouse starts so it will start with the one one cluster okay it will first start your minimum cluster one cluster and if there is a need then it will start second cluster yeah okay so that is called as a auto scale mode okay so this maximize mode is uh, used okay uh this maximize mode is used okay whenever you want a uh, want to have a high performance okay mm -hmm. right means you are starting all all of your clusters right at the same time when yeah. you start your warehouse and this auto scale mode like this this is like a, you are trying to save your credits right only when the load increases you are going to start the additional cluster okay and this will be controlled by a load balancer or something no behind the scenes is every everything is taken care by snowflake so you don't need okay. to worry on that, that. that yeah that okay. okay so it uh it will automatically start and uh uh what i meant to say automatically start and uh stop uh, or so it will automatically take care whenever the load uh, in, uh decreases it will shut down the one cluster okay okay now there is one one uh, there are scaling policies as, as well okay so when when whenever your warehouse is in the auto scale mode right when you specify different values for maximum uh, minimum and maximum clusters right so there are uh, policies are there okay scaling policies that is called as scaling policies so if you see it here uh scaling policy right yeah this is app applicable only when you your warehouse is in the auto scale mode if i specify it here the two you won't have these options so that is not applicable as such they are providing oh, you option, okay. but it won't be applicable okay 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 so let's check what is this uh standard scaling policy and what is the uh sorry okay standard means it will uh prevent like a high performance okay standard means high performance it will start the uh, first cluster immediately okay when there is a uh, query uh when there is a query uh then the currently executing query okay so it means whenever uh, the snowflake detects that there there are some additional queries are waiting right or queuing so it will automatically start the cluster okay and it will uh so standard standard is a high performance okay where like it will not uh, it will give priority to uh, your load to be completed rather than like a waiting okay and economy means it will try to conserve your credits okay by keeping like your one cluster fully loaded okay and it will only start the additional cluster if and if there is a like a, a requirement okay mm -hmm. so in, in the case of economy if you see it will only start the warehouse only if it estimates that there is a like a query that can run or keep the cluster busy for at least six minutes yeah okay then only it will start your warehouse okay and uh, so how this warehouse sets down so they will check two or three or five or six times and they can determine if like the cluster which is running the query and that load can be redistributed to the other clusters okay so standard means like a performance it will give priority to performance and economy means it will try to conserve your credits okay 
Okay, that so makes sense. As, yeah, this is called as a scaling policy. So you, you will see the uh, questions from these. Okay, what is the maximize mode? What is the auto scale mode? How you specify the auto scale mode? Okay, by specifying different value for minimum and maximum clusters. Okay. Okay. So any questions, uh, Joseph? So far, what we have discussed. Uh, so far, it makes sense. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, so how are you going to uh, measure the size, okay, or multi cluster, right? Mm -hmm. So and credit credits, okay. So total number of clusters or servers, okay, you can calculate by multiplying your warehouse size, right? For example, mm -hmm. you are using a small, right? So small means you you have like a uh, two servers in it, right? Yeah. And what is the maximum amount of clusters, right? So that is called as a like a, you will calculate your credit for that. For example, they have given you have a medium size multi cluster warehouse with three clusters. Okay, means I am having this medium sized. Okay, just to. Right. medium size so medium has our four four servers right in it yeah okay and by duplicate this okay so i have medium size uh, multi cluster warehouse of three clusters okay so if you see if it runs for uh one hour okay this multi cluster warehouse right yeah so what will be the number of uh, credits consumed is four 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 yeah it will be it will be your size twelve yeah. Yeah, it will be your size, right? Size of the uh, this uh, cluster that is medium. Yeah. So medium means four into number of clusters that is three. Yeah. yeah. So it will be twelve credits will be consumed per hour for this multi cluster right. warehouse. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Okay. So whenever you resize your uh, what uh, cluster, right? Uh, or whenever you resize your warehouse, so what happens? Uh, those queries which are getting executed, right? So they will keep using the uh, previous size, okay? And whenever the new queries are submitted to the warehouse or the queries are, those are in waiting, they will benefit from the new size. And also, if you uh, resize your multi cluster warehouse, right? So it will apply to all the clusters, okay? So if I resize my multi cluster warehouse from medium to large, right? For example, yeah. if I resize this warehouse, so it will apply to all the clusters, all these yeah. three, not only this one, okay? So all these three clusters will be made large, okay? So this is multi cluster size and uh, credit users okay okay so what is the benefit of multi cluster warehouse right so when you have your multi cluster warehouse in auto scale mode right so by default this snowflake will resize the warehouse whenever there is an additional uh, warehouses are required cl clusters are required right to handle the fluctuating lo workload and snowflake will automatically start and stop the cluster okay and in maximize mode right you are starting all your clusters right so you can control the capacity by decreasing the size uh, of the clusters okay 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 so uh, uh any questions uh, joseph uh no i'm following okay okay uh okay so there is term called horizontal scaling okay uh 
horizontal scaling and vertical scaling okay uh, scaling up scaling up and scaling out okay scaling up means you are going to increase your uh, uh, size from small to medium this is called as a scaling up okay yeah small to medium this is called as a scaling up okay and scaling scaling down means uh, scaling out means uh, it's uh, you are increasing the number of uh, servers or the clusters that is called as a horizontal scaling and vertical scaling uh, could you clarify that you say scaling up is you increasing the size of the server yeah, in, yeah scaling, scaling up out. Or, Vertical, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is called as a when you increase your size, right? Small to medium or large. That is called yeah. as a scaling scaling up. Okay. Mm. Scaling out means you are increasing the number of servers. The number okay. of servers. That makes you are, sense. Yeah, multiple clusters. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, how you create your warehouse? Okay. So let's go and just remember this multi cluster warehouse is the enterprise uh, addition feature. Okay. Yes. So multi cluster warehouse is a enterprise addition feature. Okay. So yes. when you have your, uh, you won't be able to see this minimum and maximum. Let's. This is my enterprise, right? Edition. So I'm able to see that. Let's see if I am having any. Uh, it's also enterprise. Let me create one standard account. Okay. Okay. So it will take some time to uh, create this account. Okay. Okay. So I created this. Uh, let's wait for five minutes. Okay. So before that, we we will go and see how to create a warehouse. Okay. So when you uh, access this uh, page, right, warehouses, so you will see the option to create a warehouse. Okay. Are you able to see the screen, right? yes okay so here you provide the name to your warehouses okay my first warehouse right and you can choose us uh, you can select the size you want okay so i'm going to select x small okay small okay here you uh, since you are using like enterprise edition you have option to specify the multi you create a multi cluster warehouse okay so you can select what is the minimum number of clusters you want and what is the maximum number of clusters you want okay so i'm keeping this one and two okay and we discussed uh, related to scaling policy right either you want this economy or standard so i'm going to use the economy okay and you will have option for auto suspend okay so this warehouse will uh, automatically shut down to save the credits okay if there is a no workload or queries are running so after 10 minutes it will it will automatically uh, suspend itself okay okay and you have option to specify the auto resume okay means whenever if the warehouse is in the suspended mode right so if warehouse is in the suspended mode it will automatically resume 
ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ ऑटो रिज्यूम एंड यू कैन स्पेसिफाई द ऑप्शनल कॉमेंट हियर दिस इज ओके नाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ वेयर हाउस फ्रॉम हियर राइट यू कैन फिनिश राइट और यू कैन यू कैन क्रिएट सिलेक्ट द सीक्वल बिहाइंड इट ओके ओके सो यू कैन यूज दिस इक्वल ओके टू क्रिएट युअर वेर हाउस राइट so let me create this pair out okay let me create from uh, this web okay sir so, uh, sorry i need to change my role okay Concept. oh okay the role matters okay okay so that role didn't have permission to create a pair out so okay. let me okay and x small let's select this economy okay let's select five minutes okay let me create this warehouse okay so this my first warehouse is created uh right uh It is showing okay. So this warehouse is created, right? If you see it here, this is the warehouse name. What is its status? Size, cluster. This is a multi cluster, right? So currently it is showing one act, one cluster is active. It can have minimum of one cluster, maximum of two cluster. What is the scaling policy, right? Auto suspend in five minutes. Auto resume yes. Right. Created on. and resume down right who 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 is the role who created this right or who is the owner and uh, any optional comment okay so this is how you can see the warehouse here right now if you click on this you can configure it right if you i want to change its size to small okay so i can configure it from here okay directly you select the this warehouse okay configure it i want to change it its size to small and i finish it okay it change it right yeah so size got changed okay now if i want to suspend this or stop this right suspend this so i can do it from here so it will be in suspended status okay Oh, so it will not okay. it will not consume any credits okay then right. i can resume it resume it right resume your house finish okay it started right i want to drop this select this drop this you want to i want to delete this yes you can delete right so it got deleted let me mm. create a new Uh, okay. Okay. Let's create this. Okay. Okay. I created uh, again it. Okay. Right. So transfer ownership means. Okay. So currently, uh, account admin created that uh, uh, role. Uh, create that warehouse. Right. this account admin so 
each object in a snowflake will have a owner owner right owner that is called mostly the role or the user who created it okay so i want to transfer the ownership of this warehouse to different role say this admin okay okay so I, so i can transfer the ownership from here so this is a okay so if we go and see the owner is now sys admin so this is how simple is like a creation of warehouse and like a uh, uh doing it from the gui okay okay now let let me switch role to or oh, let me i want to show that this is a multi cluster feature is available only to the enterprise edition okay so if you see this account is a standard edition right yes okay so if you go to warehouse right and if you try to create a warehouse here so you will see only these many options okay oh you, you, you don't see like a minimum cluster maximum cluster right multiple multi uh, multiple cluster right yeah uh, multi cluster warehouse this minimum cluster scaling policy so all these options are not available only name size auto suspend auto resume comment okay so this yes. multi cluster wa warehouse is a enterprise edition feature okay oh okay okay just let me cancel this uh, let me log out okay so uh, now so all we have what we have done is through uh, like a gui right all these creation of warehouse right so you yeah. can use a like a commands right sql commands or something like that so by default uh, snowflake provides all the details create warehouse you can type create warehouse in snowflake okay so you will have so these uh so they have like their uh documentation very good documentation okay oh okay so, so they they will they will uh, provide you like these uh, uh, commands okay create or replace warehouse if not exist you can provide the name and we, with all these options okay with warehouse size what what is the size okay small small medium okay max cluster count min cluster count okay scaling policy auto suspend auto resume okay initially suspended means you want your warehouse to be created as a, in a suspended mode or uh, like a started mode right comment okay uh, resource monitor so this is like a, a new uh, feature we will check it later okay new new option okay and this is also like a new feature enable query acceleration okay so all these are uh, and these are the parameters okay what are parameters we are going to see in our upcoming sessions okay. so okay. this uh, 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 snowflake provides you with uh, like a different uh, uh, query options as well okay okay and so this is like a creation of a warehouse through a gui okay so let me show your create warehouse right there are documentation you can type create warehouse in snowflake okay and you will see it here how to create a warehouse create a new warehouse, virtual warehouse in a system 
Oh. Okay, let me see it. One. Ah. So. Create or replace warehouse. So if the warehouse is already existing, okay. So it will replace it, okay. So uh, create or replace warehouse, my uh, warehouse name, my warehouse with. So we can see the object properties, right? Yeah. Let's. So let's take a x small. Okay. Min max cluster count is two. Min cluster count is one. Okay. Scaling policy. Uh, <laughs> I'm Jackie. Oh, no. sorry. Sorry. No, uh, sorry. My wife stopped by. Never mind. Okay. So auto suspend. If you see. It you have to provide the so you will see uh, if you scroll down right. So what what can be its values right? So all these details are given. For example, I auto suspend right. For example, auto suspend specifies the number of seconds of in inactivity right. Yes. So uh, I need to set it into the six hundred like number of seconds like a ten minutes. Scaling policy economy okay. And string. This is my. This. This where how to create it using scripts. Okay. So now, if I run this command, right, you will see the warehouse will be created. And if I go to warehouse. So my warehouse is created. Okay. Oh, okay. So if you go to warehouse, you will see this my warehouse created, right? Yeah. Now, how to see uh, the warehouses uh, from the this query, right? Query uh, or this using the scripts. So you can use the show command. Okay. Show. So, warehouses and uh, end it with the semicolon you control enter or uh, you can select this or you can run this right or you hover your keyboard uh, on this line and control enter okay show warehouses okay so it will show you all the warehouses here okay so with the all 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 these details, right? For example, this is the name. What is the state type? X size, minimum cluster, maximum cluster, started cluster, running, queued, right? Auto suspend, auto resume. So this is the command. Okay. Now you can just do some uh, like a SQL, right? Show warehouses. This like like my percentage so if you see it showed the warehouses like which starts with my uh, right yeah. and you can do like a uh, other stuff right show warehouses uh, in schema or in database no it won't work like that okay 
and whatever the uh, what i mean to say whatever the configuration we did right all this uh, uh, configuration for example this right sorry configure right whatever the configuration we did like for example uh, we change right everything so everything can be done using this uh, command right so you can use the alter alter warehouse okay oh okay alter warehouse in a no plate okay so if you click on this you will see all this alter warehouse statement for example i need to uh, my first warehouse right i need to resume it so i can do alter warehouse resume now if i do lead like this it will be in resume state started state okay so for example you will see this right different options you can rename it or you can about it you can set the object properties for example size alter warehouse set size equal to right so you can set a tag so these are the object properties alter oh, okay. set, set max count equal to max cluster count equal to this set min cluster count equal to this okay all right scaling scaling policy and what these object parameters okay these we will see it in uh, so everything all these options well, what what i meant uh, what what do you see right here so everything that is given detailed explanation explanation in this document okay all right yep i pulled the i got it from the website yeah okay so uh so this is what i would like to like I, what i like you to do miss maybe today whenever you get some time to create a warehouse right let me write let me write it down okay uh -huh, create a warehouse yeah you create a different warehouses you can and drop it okay it's what i want okay yeah what i want you to create a warehouse okay play with these different options okay from the gui right uh -huh. So first, first thing I want you to go through the virtual warehouse documentation. Okay. So, okay. so if you type virtual warehouse in Snowflake, right, it will give you the first link. These uh, virtual warehouses. Virtual warehouse in Snowflake. I like the way there's a setup. The data is there, you can follow along easily. Unlike yeah. AWS. Okay, I found it. Virtual warehouse in slow snowflake. Okay. Yeah. So you will get this screen, right? So you go through all these uh, uh okay, documentation first. Okay. So this is what I explained to you today. And uh uh this multi cluster warehouses, okay. Yes, all these yeah and uh, what are the warehouse consideration etc then okay. uh, scaling up scaling out and okay so all this documentation you go one by one okay after that you have like a your demo account right demos account so you can create a warehouse from here okay Okay. Create a warehouses from here. Try creating multiple warehouses with different options. You can drop it later. Okay. You can just drop it. Yeah. Uh, All right. Okay. Uh, let me. Were you, were you the one I met with on Saturday? Sorry. Were you the were you the uh, two that I met on Saturday? Saturday. I mean, uh, yeah. 
Were you the one I, I met? Okay, not you. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. It was you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. Sorry. Okay, so that's Okay, so you can create and drop. Okay, later I want you to create like uh, the warehouse using the scripts. Okay, so okay. you can just uh, see the uh, different options of creating a warehouse. Alter warehouse command. Okay. 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 And okay. Finally, uh, today what I would like to talk also. Okay, so if you go to warehouses. So you will see when you click uh, click on this warehouse, right? Yeah. For example, demo. So it will provide you a warehouse load over a time. Okay. Okay. How the warehouse your warehouse is loaded? Like how many queries are there or running, right? So and by default, it will show you a like a timing of last eight hours okay okay and it will show in a every five minutes of interval so you can use this to uh, enlarge the uh, the what I want to say the time window okay and you will be you will be able to see the uh, some uh miss data here right how the, your warehouse is uh, uh what i mean how your data is warehouse is loaded so for example if you see i could see the queries were running here right and if you see here queued provisioning okay so you will see the different options here okay yeah so you can see uh, the same here in the monitoring your warehouse monitoring a warehouse load so you will see they have explained here like right so mm -hmm. it shows you the warehouse load over time so how many queries were queued or how many queries were running okay what is the load you can make use of this slider what I showed right this one to see the data for like uh, okay likewise you can see and how your warehouse is performing okay so that is one chart they give when you click on that particular uh click on that particular uh query oh uh, sorry query not query the warehouse okay okay i found it monitoring the snowflake warehouse okay uh, okay. Uh, and uh, one more thing I would like to uh, uh, talk about is like whenever you are making use of this worksheet, right? Uh huh. So you, you need to set the context, right? Context means in which which role you are using or which database or which uh, warehouse you are using or in which schema you are running the queries right so you will see it here right this four uh -huh. this is called as a as a context right context okay so suppose i want to uh, uh, query this table right so you can yeah. click on this and or just a minute. Okay. So if you click on these uh, three arrows, right, you can set this as a context, right? So I want to run in this database. So this okay. database got changed. Okay. Set, set as a context. So this schema also got changed, right? yeah suppose I, I want to run it using this warehouse style symbol set this as context means it said it said that okay set as a context or you can do you can make use of our stand normal use uh command in like a sql right so use role 
account admin right use database okay. use where use warehouse use warehouse test uh, let's see which warehouse is up there test warehouse or demo right and normally you you should terminate your uh, query by semicolon okay okay database uh accept demo underscore db use schema no click demo right So this is how you can uh, when you run these queries right all together you select this you run it so it will run and it will set the context right so this is called as a context okay okay so you are making use of your uh, account admin role you are uh, uh, making this uh, we are using this warehouse right yes right and then this database and then this uh, uh, schema okay so this is like a uh, so it's normal so you already familiar with the sql right um not really but i can follow along your video i will since i'm getting a copy of i'll follow your video okay yeah just means you have basic uh, like a uh, knowledge of i'll follow the recording uh, okay mm, not really no okay i just yeah i just listen and then follow along so when when we're done if i can get a copy of the video i appreciate it yeah yeah okay so you can reach out to the training coordinators right uh um uh the one you provided link right okay for the training so you can yeah, reach out send to me a copy of the video okay all right okay so, so this is what day, right yeah this is what i wanted to uh talk about so this is like a uh, in depth we have covered about the warehouses okay i hope you understood it yep it makes sense and am i getting uh copies of the powerpoint uh yeah so we can send that as well 